Three decades, five Olympic Games, 14 cricket tours, 30 grand finals and thousands of other events. Phil Hilliard is a man who has travelled the world with his lenses in hand, capturing some of the most iconic moments in sporting history. Phil Hilliard's given us a great taste of what we've seen through his images over the years. But Phil, it's time to put you through our test at Man's Life in a little game we like to call This or That. Set to go? Ready to go. Okay, let's start with these two images. Which one do you prefer? Usain Bolt or Michael Phelps? Both images obviously captured by you. I'd probably say the Phelps one out of those two. Um, just because it's it's awkward to get that one right. Um, so I'd say the Phelps one out of that, that those two. Amazing, we love it too. From the Olympics, now moving to the Ashes. This or that, Phil. There's McGrath and Warren walking off for the last time and there's the England team with Freddie Flintoff at the centre celebrating. Very tough to pick those. I think uh, Warren and uh, McGrath is probably more iconic um, for us uh, uh, being in Australia. Uh, the last time they left the field, it was a pretty special moment when, when Shane uh, leaned on his great mate's shoulder. And our next set of this and that really does speak about agony for Two Australian greats, one Ricky Ponting as he gets struck on the head with a vicious bouncer and the other is actually Glenn McGrath in the car on his way to the hospital, I imagine. But there's an English fan who's very, very pleased about the injury to, to Glenn McGrath. Yeah, I don't think that was pretty fair on that English fan. I think it was a little bit harsh. Um, it, I guess that picture and the whole, the whole images around that of, of Glenn McGrath, often when we would get to the ground early, um, we'd sort of disappear with the other photographers and go off somewhere and get breakfast sometimes, you know, and come back and not be around for the warm up. And this particular day we were around for the warm up. And uh, while we didn't see it happen, um, it was one of those days where you needed to be there to capture all those images around it. It was obviously uh, massive news. And, uh, you know, we, there were so many pictures of McGrath that day and, you know, following out of the room and then on his way to hospital in the car and then, uh, you know, we all know that it changed the course of history um, and, you know, it was, it was England's, uh, England's time. Sticking with the Ashes, with two other icons of the sport, this or that, Kevin Peterson with his top off and pointing at his tattoo or an image of Gilly on the balcony. Yeah, I've never liked that one of KP. What, I'm not sure what he's doing with the hair there, but uh, I, I do love the picture of Gilly. It was, you know, was one of my standout pictures from that 05 Ashes. Not always about what just happens in the middle and you know the balcony is so close there at Trent Bridge. And, um, I think uh, you know there was a presentation going on and just turned around and saw Gilly sitting there completely exhausted with the hat a little bit crooked and you know that that was a picture that stood out back here to my editors and you know bang that fills the back page. So yeah that, that picture uh, sums up that series really to me. We're moving from the ashes to the streets of India, we've got two great images. Which image would you pick, this or that? Yeah, probably this. Just because of uh, I probably had more interaction with that man and got to know him and you know, came back four, uh, three years later and found him in the same spot and had a cup of tea with him. And yeah, so I think that's uh, more special. Just the fact that, you know, he always wore his whites to train him, you know, he's a little uh, orthodox off spinner and uh, yeah, that one's a bit more of a special one to me. Hey, you spoke about how you gifted him the image four years later as well, the 60 year old man, the off spinner on the streets at uh, Azad Maidan actually. What was him, his emotion like when you gifted him that image? Oh look, he was you know amazed that somebody out of the blue just walks up and you know, may, uh, he may not have even remembered it, I'm not sure but obviously he was uh, you know very thankful for it and uh, you know invited me in to um, to his time. Yeah, and from the streets of Mumbai and India to our final image of this or that. This at the Adelaide Oval, a venue that is home to you and, and actually adopted home to me as well, given that I lived there for five years and played there. I love the Adelaide Oval. Or the one on the beach at Vizag. This or that? Uh, look, they're both special to me, but it would have to be uh, the one back in Australia at my home ground of Adelaide Oval. It was where I grew up going to the cricket as a kid and uh, the ground's changed a lot since that picture. That was back in 2000. Back then I was using the same camera that I took to India in 01 and 
and with the lady who obviously had walked straight through that shot. And I remember saying as I was shooting it, look back, look back, look back, just look back. Yeah. I'm not, not asking it to, they didn't even know I was there. <laughs> yeah, 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 and then yeah. She just looks back at the right moment, click, and you release the shutter and uh, that's that's what photography is all about. And um, you know, recently I just got a message about that picture, those boys are now 33 years old or something. You know, so. Well, that, that is exactly what it's about, Phil. You've captured the essence of a moment. You've given us a glimpse into history and each of your moments, each of your images, I think, are etched in sporting history as well. So thank you so much for that. And thank you for playing Man's Life this or that. Uh, no worries. It was good fun. So for more great content just like that, head across to manslife.in. We've got you covered in the world of sport, entertainment, lifestyle and auto as well.